back to the channel and today we will continue with the discussion that we were having yesterday. You remember yesterday I was telling you something related to organic conversions for great wealth, right? I covered two tricks, trick one, trick two and today it's time to do the third trick or the third type of organic conversions. So the type three organic conversions that I will be talking about today is how to convert a double bond to a triple bond. Okay, so in the chapter Hyaluronic Hyaluronic, there are these three questions which have been asked. Okay, and if I try to do this question in a wide range, so this is the main topic for today's lecture. How do we convert an alkene to an alkene? How it could be converted to alkyne? So without any further ado, let's quickly get started with the video. Okay, let me tell you one trick. Suppose you have any particular alkene. Let it be. CH3, CH3. This is ethane that is given to me. Okay? I want to convert this ethane to ethene. CH2 double bond CH2. That means I want to introduce a double bond in the structure. Earlier we were having an alkane. Now I want to convert it to an alkene. So the question is how can an alkane be converted to alkene? So the entire thing takes knowledge of the chapter, uh, the, you remember the chapter we did in grade, grade 11, this last chapter of organic chemistry? Yes, I'm talking about hydrocarbons. In that chapter, we learned one trick. If you can first convert it to haloalkane and then we do the elimination, it can be easily converted to alkene. So this is what is a theory. Now I'll tell you how to convert that alkene to alkene in any particular question. Okay? So let's see how to convert the ethane thing into ethyl chloride. Let's say I want to convert it to CH3, CH2CA. And you have done this so many times. This is the Bhagwan of organic chemistry. Whenever you have any confusion, just put theory in the presence of sunlight. Sunlight is like Sudhajita. It's the Bhagwan of organic chemistry. So you do Cl2 in the presence of HNU, it gets converted to CH3, CH2, Cl. Okay? Now we have to do elimination. For elimination, we will be doing alcoholic KOH. Do remember, I am not using aqueous KOH. Reason being because it will undergo substitution. Rather, we are using alcoholic KOH. Okay? Now what does alcoholic KOH do? This we did in the last video also. Once again, I tell you. This is chlorine. This is a carbon which is having chlorine. Now this chlorine will go out from this carbon and from this carbon one hydrogen will go out. Okay? Once again if you want me to tell it properly. So let me write it in expanded form. Okay? Now I am putting alcoholic KOH. So alcoholic KOH will take out this chlorine and will take out hydrogen from the adjacent carbon under. And this here at this position, we will get a double bond, leading to the formation of CH2 double bond CH2. Understood? So this is the first thing that I told you that if you have alkane, you convert it to alkyl halide, then put it to with KOH, you get alkene. Clear? So one thing is done. How to convert alkane to alkene? This I told you. Now moving to the next part of the question, how if you have alkene, now how can I convert it to alkyl? That's the second thing that is coming to my mind. Okay? So don't get confused, that is super easy. I'll tell you how this is done. So let me first write CH2 double bond CH. You remember earlier what I did? I added CH2 in the presence of sunlight. Now I'm doing a little different thing. I'm adding CH2 but in the presence of dark. So when we are not using sunlight, we will be getting a different product rather than the product that we were getting when we use sunlight. Now what is the difference in the product when you do the reaction in dark? And in dark way when you are doing the reaction, both the two positions will get one plus CL. This is quite obvious, right? Suppose you are, you are there in a dark room and you have to get a chair. Maybe you touch a chair or you touch a table, you won't even get to know what you are touching, right? Because it's dark, right? Similarly, here there is CL in the presence of dark. CL2 won't be able to decide where it has to go. So it will go to both the two carbon. So what we will get in? We will get CH2, Cl, CH2, Cl. Understood? So this is what we got. Now we have to convert this to alkyne. So there are two small small steps that we have to follow. 
fall. First, we will do again the same thing, which is alcoholic cleavage. And what did I teach you in alcoholic cleavage? Take out one CL and from the adjacent carbon, take out one hydrogen. Done? So, what we will be getting? CLCL double bond CH2. Understood? We got a double bond, but along with the double bond, we got one hydrogen. Now, if you have to do elimination again, I told you what that we have to do elimination. So, if I ask you to take out one CL, from the adjacent carbon, take out one hydrogen, the problem is that coholic cleavage will not work because it is a very strong elimination thing. Okay? So, now you have to use another reagent which is NaNH2. NaNH2 has got another name. Soda amide. So this is soda amide. And this soda amide is much, 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 much stronger base, you know, much stronger base compared to alcoholic cleavage. But what it will do? It will do the same thing, which is elimination. So you don't have to worry about anything. And what is elimination? Take out one Cl. From the adjacent carbon, take out one hydrogen and put a bond in between them. So it becomes NC triple bond CH. That's it. This was what we wanted. So I told you how to convert alkane to alkene and how to convert that alkene to alkyne and I hope the things were clear. This was pretty easy. So this was the theory part. Now let's see how to apply this theory in the questions of the chapter Hello Alkanes and Hello Alkanes. Let's get started. Let me write the first question which is ethanol to but one ion. Let me write it. Ethanol CH3CH2OH. And we have but one ion, CH3, CH2, C triple bond CH. Now you might be thinking, first how will we get to know that this question will be done by the method that I have written double bond to triple bond? Because there is no double bond in the structure, then why are we going to the method double bond to triple bond? Now I am thinking, see, listen to me carefully. In any particular question, whenever you see a triple bond or you see a double bond, or you see a double bond along with any halogen, you will always follow this method. Let me repeat once again what I said. If there is a double bond being formed in the compound, or there is a triple bond being formed in the compound, or there is a double bond and a halogen present in the compound. So these are three possibilities. You will always close your eyes and do this method because this is like the end of all the methods. Okay? Let me tell you how this can be used here. Uh, one more thing before I continue with this video. You know, right, if you have alcohol, it can be easily converted to haloalkanes. And haloalkanes is something like, you know, a bridge. You step on that bridge, you go wherever you want. So it's that magical bridge. So let me first convert this alcohol to haloalkane. How do we do that? We will be adding HBr. Simple. HBr is H plus Br minus. Let me first tell you the mechanism. Then I tell you the shortcut how to do that. You add HPR, width gives out H plus and Br minus. This OH attacks here, leading to the formation of CH3, CH2, OH2, dot dot, with a positive sign. Now Br minus will come, attack, this goes away, leading to the formation of CH3, CH2, Br. So this was the mechanism, but while we do the conversions, we don't need the mechanism. So what I did here, I'll explain you in a different video, but right now we'll just do the shortcut thing. If you have to remove this OH and you have to put BR instead of this, you just react it with HBr. Okay? So BR comes here and water will go away leading to the formation of CH3, CH2, BR. Done? We got alkyl halide. Now what did I do? What did I tell you earlier? Alkyl halide can be converted to alkene. So let's do the reaction and make it alkene. So I will be adding alcoholic KOH. This is sasta. Around so we can do this. So what will happen? Br goes from here, H goes from here, it gets converted to CH2 double bond CH2. But did we get the product which we wanted? We wanted L we wanted L time. We just got L key. That means reaction cannot stop here. It has to go further. Now I told you how to convert L key to L time. So first we will do Cl2 in the presence of dark. This is what I told you. So both the two carbons will get one one chlorine. You'll get this. And you'll get this. Understood? Now what we do? Now again we have to do elimination. For elimination we use alcoholic KOH. Now alcoholic KOH will do 
what? It takes out this Cl and this H. Fine? So you get CH2, CH, Cl, double bond, CH. Again, we are, okay. I, I think you are getting what I am trying to do, right? Now you treat it again with NaNH2. Now when you treat it with soda mine, which is NaNH2, this Cl goes away, this H goes away, we get this. This was what I told you. But the problem is, even after getting this uh, ethyne thing, still our concept like still we didn't get the, entire, the required product which we wanted. The required product was this. That means I need to increase the size of this particular chain. Okay? So that is my logic. Now I thought that this carbon is sp hybridized carbon. Right? And since this is sp hybridized carbon, so this will be very much electronegative also. Since it is electronegative, so it will attract all the electrons towards itself and this hydrogen will be acidic hydrogen. This is okay. So this hydrogen turns out to be acidic hydrogen. That means if I react it with a base, which is NaNH2, so this base can take out this acidic hydrogen. This is the most important step in this reaction. What happens to ethyne with NaNH2? So let me write it again. Hc triple bond CH and treating it with NaNH2. Now NaNH2 is acting as a base and this acid is acting as an acidic hydrogen. Okay, so base NH2 minus will take away, away this hydrogen leading to the formation of this Na plus. Understood? Now we have to increase the, uh, increase the chain and the, the process is very obvious. You react it with CH3, CH2, Br or CH3, CH2, Cl which you started with. That's it. You just take it here, it reacts and goes away leading to the formation of Sc triple bond C, CH2, CH3. Understood? See, the question was very long but the process was same. You just have to understand the process. You just have to understand the Type. Once the type is clear, the question will be like really easy for you. So the new thing which we learned here is if you have alkyne and you have to increase the chain. So I have alkyne and I have to increase the chain. I cannot use words reaction or any other reaction. So I will use the concept of acidic hydrogen. Understood? So this hydrogen is acidic, we can react it with a base, it gets to the formation of a salt. Now we just react it with any alkyl halide to increase the length of our chain. Understood? I hope this question is clear. This was one very, very good question and I think we have solved it out in a good manner. Right? Now let's move on to the next question. The next question that we are having is we have to convert ethane. Let me write it. So 
this is up to them. Now we'll move to the third question. Let's do that. The third question is, I have to convert propene to propyne. This will be the easiest one. I should have started with this so that you can like me. But since I started with a tough one, so some of you might be thinking, what the hell man, she got some tough thing. But it's okay, now you see this is easier. So propene, CH3, CH double bond, CH3. This is propene and we have to convert it to propyne. Ooh, now this completely satisfies double bond to triple bond without any confusion in mind, right? So just do the same procedure that I told you like a parrot. Just keep on doing the same thing. First, we will add Cl2 in the presence of dark. Now we get CH3, CH3, CH2, CH2. Ooh, thank God this is okay, right? Now what I'll do? I'll add alcoholic KOH. If I add alcoholic KOH, one Cl and one H will go away. So this forms CH3, CH, Cl, double bond, CH3. Okay? But you remember I said, from here if you have to do the elimination, you cannot use alcoholic KOH because that's you know kind of poor old aged person. So we have to use soda wine. So I'll add any NH3. What will happen? One H, one Cl goes away and we get CH3, CH double bond, CH, whoa, that's it. Okay, so I hope with this concept how to convert a double bond, I should have added how to convert a single bond to a double bond to a triple bond. So if you know this type 3 of conversion, I hope things will be easy. And again, these three are really good questions. Out of these three, the best question is the first question. Okay, make sure you practice this question and that's it for today. We'll meet once again in the next video.